Segnet Server Communication Protocol Add a server channel to the PLC. Select BACnet Server Protocol. Add a server device. Set the device instance to 1. Management password can be set. Set the IP address to localhost. Set the device port to 47808, which is a standard value for BACnet. Local port can be left at zero. One of the ways how to assign a variable to BACnet server is using the program the variable is used. Focus the variable and follow its properties in the right panel. Enable BACnet visibility here. Enter data point name. Select data point type. An alarm point can be assigned to the variable. Next, set other variable metadata if required, such as units, minimum, or maximum. Similarly, set up the other variables. Another way how to add variables to BACnet server is using the variable browser. Enable BACnet visibility here. Set the name of the data point. Select a data point type. Add alarm data point of required. Add binary variables. Polarity and text for active and inactive state can be added. The last way to add a variable to BACnet server is using the device editor. Add the variable by right click and add variable. If an alarm shall be added, select the correct variable type, which is alarm point. Next, a time schedule will be added at the entire object here. To refresh the variable IDs, compile or upload the solution.
variable IDs can be reset using the server device. The EDE file can be exported over the server channel. Upload the solution to the PLC. Check the BACnet server functionality, for example in the Yabba BACnet client. Click to add device. Let the port at BAC0 or 47808. Enter the IP address of your computer. Yabba finds all server devices in the network. Click the detected device. To display or variable names, right-click the device and select Get Properties Name. The first is the server device. In the device properties, the PLC name with BACnet server is displayed. Runtime version of the PLC, PLC time and date, PLC model name, object ID, lists of objects in the device, object type, ID and vendor name. Other objects contain less information. The most interesting for us is present value. Here we can show the communication between client, Yabe, and server, PLC. The value from the client was written to the server. Next, let's test the alarm functionality. An alarm is invoked. Alarm value changes from 1, normal, to 2, active. Alarm can be acknowledged now. Followed by reset. Finally, a time scheduler will be written. The Yabba client allows reading only, but normally a client can write too. Now we can see the changed values in the time program.